Hey everyone, I hope all of you are having a good weekend so far and welcome to Kayan Al Bashar, where today we are starting off small and get increasingly bigger with the builds because we are starting off with building clutter actually. Then we are going to build a bridge connecting the harbor to the actual station because so far that has just been a floating pot. And then we start on the lighthouse because we are not going to be able to finish it today because even though the clutter is such a small thing, I spent the majority of today's video on the clutter. <laughs> but anyway, before we actually get started with the actual buildings or builds, because the clutter isn't really a building, I wanted to know with the Arctic DLC coming around, what animal you guys are most excited for or if you're basically like me and don't really care about the animals. And I'm going to be completely honest, like, the animals don't really excite me that much, but if I had to choose my favorite, it would probably be the sheep. I know that the polar bear and the, I think, caribou, but I'm just going to call it a reindeer. But I know that probably most people are excited for those animals and maybe the arctic fox and then the sheep is kind of a weird one. But I'm most excited for the sheep because I think I can get away with placing that one in Kayan Al Bashar. I mean, placing a polar bear in Kayan Al Bashar, polar bears and desert don't usually go well together. Or polar bear and tropical lands don't go well together, so uh, yeah, I'm most excited for the sheep. Also because it's a little bit, uh, I don't know, it just reminds me of a normal sheep. And that just makes sense in Kayan Al Bashar to have sheep. But yeah, I'm most excited for the wood pieces, because I already saw a carved wooden pillar. I want that one right now. <laughs> like just if there's a lot of carved wood pieces then I'm completely happy. Because right now all of the pillars in Kayan Al Bashar are stone pillars. Some are wood but not a lot and I just want wo carved wooden pieces. Because I don't want to spend 1000k pieces on just one pillar. Because uh I don't want another station. <laughs> and that's actually something that we're going to somewhat do today because the lighthouse isn't going to be a huge building actually. But anyway, now that I'm talking again about the buildings, I should probably basically uh, start actually talking about the building. So again, what animal are you guys most excited for? Or are you just like me and just want the building pieces? Because I heard that there are 200 pieces coming, so uh, yeah, I'm excited for that. But anyway, so with that out of the way, let's actually do a weird run or weird thing and actually start talking about the builds. Because as I said, we are starting off by building clutter. So Planet Zoo by default doesn't have the clutter that I wanted for the harbor. The only box that we have, I think, is a card box or cardboard box. And Kayan Al Bashar probably wouldn't have cardboard. So I needed to make actually wooden boxes and crates. And then also stuff them with just every piece of clutter imaginable. So, so far we have like pottery, all kinds of produce, also some like silk and incense, which is, well, those golden, well, they are actually, I think, called incense burners or something along that way. But I just use them as like, oh, this is a box that transports incense or something. Because with Kayan Al Bashar, I actually thought like, oh, this place is probably, well, f first, fabulously wealthy. Because I don't th think a lot of buildings or a lot of just places will have actually solid gold spires. But then I also wanted to just have like, oh, so if this building or this place is fabulously wealthy, they will probably have like exotic goods from all over the world. So let's say silk from the east. I wanted to also make like wine from the west because that's somewhat of an exotic uh, commodity. Although, well, that kind of maybe doesn't go well with like Islamic architecture, but I mean, it's a fancy place, so... Uh, I'm going to get try and get away with that, although I'm not going to actually build wine containers or gags because uh, yeah, I can't build those. The pieces are, are I think a little bit too big. 
although I do build two variations of crates. The one smaller one that you saw me build previously, and this one which is a little bit bigger and actually is able to, well, contain a lot more and actually makes sort of sense if you place them alongside one of those cranes I've built previously. But then also like golden pots, things, forgot the name, also wanted to make it seem like they were transporting statues, but uh, yeah, for a statue I wanted to have like, oh, this is a breakable item, try to get some like hay into the bill or into the crate, just so that there's like, if it's like roughed up in transport, it doesn't immediately break. And well, I don't think like uh, the, can you still call them a sailor if they're on an airship? But yeah, I think those would probably not be the most gentle with the, well, goods transported. Also, uh, porcelain from the east. So, uh, yeah, just all of the clutter pieces are going to be in these boxes. And even though I spent the majority of today's video on this clutter, I actually haven't used a lot of pieces. It's only 2,000 pieces, which for me is mild. So I'm actually going to be able to basically put all of this clutter on the workshop. So. If you guys want to basically have all these pieces, I can put them on there. I've actually also built like, I think four, well, yeah, four sort of like uh, setups where I basically make piles of clutter, which, uh, yeah, is chaotic because I just think a harbor in itself would be chaotic. Also building some market stalls just because well, with the harbor, I also wanted a market and also on the square, I wanted to have a market. So I'm building that as well today so that basically all of the clutter you're going to see in the, well, cinematic video that's hopefully going out next Sunday, hopefully, I have all of the clutter done today. So that basically from now on, I don't have to build the actual clutter anymore. I basically can just pick up this... Uh, well, it's one group of bit or group of uh, clutter pieces. So I basically just grab this group, place it where I want it to be, and then kind of uh, transform it along the way. Also making a small table because, of course, with a market stall, there's going to be a table to display the wares. So, yeah, again, tell me if you guys want to have these clutter pieces because then I can just put them out there pretty easy and uh, it's actually blueprintable so yeah it's uh it was fun to build because so far i've been building kind of big buildings and we will get onto that halfway through the video if i look at the footage right now it's kind of surprising how long i built clutter for also how annoying it is to find one well not yeah i think it's I first wanted to say item frame, but it's a sign which could be used to basically say anything on there. Because of course with a market stall you're going to have signs of screaming like fresh produce. Go here to buy whatever. Because yeah, Kayan Albashar is when it comes to markets it's probably going to be the same as real life where you basically go deaf because every seller tries to scream over the next one or i just have a very bad well history with markets but that's basically for me what i remember most about any market just going deaf and being squished because a lot of people in a small area tend to squish each other uh that's uh now it really sounds like I just got like some sort of trauma from visiting a market. But also building some flower pots because, well, some market stalls will sell flowers and I just thought like, all right, instead of building all of those specifically for each market stall, I'm just going to build kind of a set of pots and, well, I'm not a florist in any way, so this is basically just throwing random flowers with, with each other and seeing, alright, this kind of works. But yeah, I'm basically going to use these flower pots if I ever want to make a flower stall. Which I'm actually going to do later on. I'm going to make a 
well two market stalls actually to basically show a little bit of like all right this is how i would put the pieces together and then of course as i said before i already built four examples of how i put the put glitter pieces or clutter pieces together to basically make a pile of clutter which again i think i said this for the third time now but if you guys want this clutter because well i don't think Planet, yeah, Planet Zoo doesn't have these wooden boxes and such. Only that cardboard box, which I really dislike for some reason. Like, I know it's useful if you want to make a realistic zoo, because, well, a zoo today obviously wouldn't have wooden boxes. They would probably have car box or plastic boxes. But if you make an historic zoo, good work. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's a little bit uh, very situational clutter. I mean, the flower pots, not so much actually. Those can still be found today. But uh, yeah, the wooden box is probably not as much. But I just wanted chaos and such because the harbor. So now I'm going on to basically what I said before grab the entire group and just basically just uh, mash it all together. And of course, uh, the market stalls, I'm going to color the fabrics. Or canopy it's because well having all white canopies kind of makes it a little bit boring and of course with Kayan Al-Bashar Kayan Al-Bashar is pretty colorful in itself and I've actually done some research into like the wells what a, the I'm kind of losing the word as you probably know by now but most of the colors have like a meaning, so like, I think green is, well, nature, but also, I think in Islam it represents, well, paradise. And red is of course a little bit more aggressive and in your face, and mm, actually quite a lot of uh, bad connotations to the color red. But, uh, I mean, it kind of fits with the station, because it is just in your face, so... With the color red, it's even more in your face. But yeah, just uh, throwing all of the clutter together to make stalls. And now I'm also very happy that I made one box with just pottery and such. Just so that it fits a little bit more with the flower stall. And I did not think to Im immediately put that board next to a fruit or at least produce stall, but uh, yeah. I'm not going to do all the clutter on screen. I'm actually, I think this is the last time that I will do the clutter on screen because, well, I want to get the cinematic video out on Sunday because if I postpone it again, it's going to be after Christmas before it gets up and I want to have the video done before Christmas because I know I won't get a lot done in the Christmas week. And otherwise it will be like a New Year's thing, which uh, I don't want also. But now back to an actual building instead of just clutter. Again, do let me know if you want to have that clutter on the workshop because it's pretty easy for me to just place it on there. And for once, it doesn't go above 4K. Just 2000. But anyway, back to the actual bridge building because this is a building where my mind kind of went a little bit numb. Because usually when I look for references or architectural inspiration, I usually go a little bit further in my search. But here I literally just typed in Arabian Bridge. So yeah, that showed the distance I was willing to go then to search for inspiration. But what was kind of surprising was that I got a lot of, well, search results for bridges around southern Spain. So bridges around Seville, Cordoba and Granada which well Granada you might know or recognize because the Alhambra which the palace of Kayan Abashar is partly inspired by sits near that place so but it was a little bit surprising because Arabian bridge then I was suspecting oh I get bridges in like the Middle East no I get bridges in southern Spain so I mean I get that because like Southern Spain also has like a heavy dose of Islamic architecture. But still, it was a little bit far off, but I really liked the bridges that I saw. However, I did take some creative liberties because the bridges in, or the bridges that I saw, have the, 
well rounded supports or at least their supports are a little bit rounded and here as you can see they are very blocky and this is mostly because i wanted a little bit of a difference between the bridges that i saw and the bridges that i wanted to build so yeah this is also a little bit of an excuse of like i just didn't want the rounded bridge i wanted it to feel very blocky especially because the bridge is going to be the connection point between the station and the harbor the harbor has a little bit more rounded parts to it but the walls that it has but the station is just a block it's just a rectangle even with the towers like the only rounded part about the station are the domes and those are up in the sky so uh, i mean by the end i really actually like the bridge and also because the supports actually are non-functional because they are floating so uh, the sports are there just to be pretty i think actually if this bridge was in real life it would probably collapse because there's just no support well except for like the complete like ends where it connects to the land but the supports that you see in the middle of this bridge are just free floating there not really having any kind of significance other than being kind of pretty also yes uh, I just see it now, but uh, I was already suspecting it. But um, yeah, I really hope that one time I will be able to basically turn off those notifications because now you will constantly see that one of the flamingo wants or is about to mate. So uh, yeah, that uh, <laughs> was interesting. Also, I forgot to again put the cursor back on, so you will see just pieces flying or magically flying into well view so yeah i just want to just make uh, like back i think two three months ago i wanted to make like a scoreboard of like how many times i say yeah or uh yeah now i just want to have a scoreboard of like how many times do i forget to put the cursor back on after making the after video views because i will constantly forget to do that and then well I can put the cursor back in after I've recorded because it just records without it. So, yeah. Again, showing that the, well, middle supports of the bridge just are free floating. So, I needed to make it uh, a little bit more, uh, well, not support or useful, but just a little bit prettier on the underside. But in the end, I really like the bridge, especially with just the rounded arches. Maybe because it also reminds me a little bit of like a Roman bridge. So, yeah. I think this bridge is actually less pieces than all the clutter. But then again, like all that clutter was basically, uh, well, let's just say it brought life to the area. Because before that, the harbor was kind of dead. So, uh, I mean, yeah. You just need a little bit of clutter to make things feel alive, or at least I need that. Some people might be able to make a place feel alive without it, but I really need it and want it. Just because, well, the harbor of Kayan al-Bashar, I just wanted it to feel chaotic, because that's just the idea that I have with, well, markets and harbors, that they're like always a little bit chaotic. Like nowadays, they are probably a little less chaotic, but... Because this is a little bit more based on like a renaissance slash medieval harbor where there's obviously like no computers or something like that to keep some things nice and ordered. I just wanted to have like, alright, this is going to be the most chaotic place in Kayan al-Bashar, except for the markets. I think I really have just something with markets that I don't well i like markets but i just always think they're just the most chaotic place possible but um yeah in the end i really as i said enjoy the bridge and then of course because it's sort of an official bridge and this might sound weird because what bridge isn't official but because it directly leads from the entrance of kayan al-bashar to the station from which of course you can well easier explore the rest of Kayan al-Bashar and it's probably just the first thing that you will notice about Kayan al-Bashar 
how many times have I said Kayan Al Bashar today? Let's make a count for that as well. Like, how many times do I say Kayan Al Bashar? Because that's also something that happens. So now I have like three counts, or not countdowns, but just countings in mind. One where I just forget to put the cursor back on. The other for how many times I say Kayan Al Bashar and how many times I say, uh, yeah. Because that's literally just a, a saying for when my mind needs to, or yeah, my mind needs to catch up to what I'm saying. But anyway, I wanted to make it feel even more official by basically putting the flag of Kayan Al Bashar front and center. And because I wanted to be, of course, a little bit extra. I made the flag a little bit longer so that it like floats or not floats, hangs to the back of the actual flag stand as well. Just to be, be a little bit extra. But now back to the lighthouse because, well, Kayan Al Bashar's harbor needs a lighthouse. Otherwise, maybe the airships will fly into the station and I mean, that's probably has happened before like I just imagine that that has happened that just some airship flo or flew into the station I'm not going to make that because uh, that would be even more pieces like making a destroyed area or a destroyed building sometimes requires a lot more pieces actually than building something that is intact but anyway this building is actually straight up well not completely straight up because i do change some things but it is the leander's tower i think if i say it correctly i'm not even going to try and pronounce the turkish name because that's going to be horrible for me or at least i will just completely butcher that name but it's the leander's tower that sits in the bosporus in istanbul I'm not going to go into the Istanbul versus Constantinople rant again, but yeah, this building actually isn't Islamic architecture because this is a Byzantine building. I think one of you guys once asked before Kayan Al Bashar was revealed, asked if I was going to build like a Bi Byzantine style zoo. No, but there is some Byzantine architecture now. As I said before, we're not going to be able to finish this lighthouse, but we are going to get most of it done, or at least the tower. Then we will actually build the, well, base of the building, because it's bigger than just the tower, in the next video, and then we will also build the square and such in the next video. So, next video will probably be a little bit more busy, or at least a little bit more buildings and not so much clutter. But to the lighthouse, let's just say, I think it was used as a lighthouse. I think it might still be used as a lighthouse. And yeah, I just wanted to build it. That's why we have the Leander's Tower now. I know it's not Islamic architecture and Kayan al-Bashar is supposed to be like an Islamic or at least Arabian style zoo. But then we also have the flooded ziggurat. So there's probably just not so much Islamic architecture as like or Arabian architecture, but more like the areas that Kayan Al Bashar is inspired by. And those areas have, well, before or after, you know, Islamic architecture was there. There's just a lot more to, well, put to use, I would say. So, with let's say Turkey, you also have like Byzantine slash Greek architecture to be found there, Iraq and surrounding areas, Mesopotamian architecture. So, I'm not going to be completely like, it needs to be Islamic architecture. It just needs to be in the general area where I take inspiration from. So I can take Roman architecture because, well, Rome was pretty much everywhere. And this is also why I'm actually very happy that I went with like Islamic architecture for Kayan Al Bashar. Because if I had switched it around and had like Islamic architecture for what was Osaru, so that would have been Kayan Al Bashar, and then we would be building Osaru right now. But I'm very happy with it because with the floating zoo, I really like that Islamic architecture and just the architecture of those areas in general usually feels very light and very airy. 
I mean, I always say lately that, oh, the station is just a sea of towers. In a way that also helps because it just makes everything look airy, makes everything look even more magical because everything f looks so light. Like for some reason, the, the station is a massive building, but I do, yeah, it just feels airy and it feels like it could just float away. I don't know if I'm making any sense here, but uh, I should probably also get back to the actual building, but I just want to talk about how happy I am that I went with the Islamic architecture for Khan al-Bashar instead of making this into an East Asian style zoo. So I'm very happy that Ozaru is kind of on the ground because I think just Ozaru looks a lot heavier when it comes to architecture style. Yeah, it just fits a little bit more on the ground or in the mountains and Khan al-Bashar is just in the air. Back to the actual lighthouse. So. As I said, it is actually almost a direct copy of what is actually to be found in Istanbul. But I did change a little bit. First of all, the base of the tower is a lot darker than in actuality because Leander's Tower, I'm probably mispronouncing it, but I mean, it's better probably than if I try to pronounce the Turkish name for it. But the Leander's Tower in reality is a lot lighter in color. Or at least the basis. I didn't want that because, well, with the harbor master's office, it kind of blends in with the station just because it is that light color. So to make sure that this tower is completely different, I went with a lot of darker colors. So the actual dome is, first of all, not going to be that sandstone color. It's going to be sort of this weird blue greenish color that the actual tower also has. I'm really curious if it's still a lighthouse. I think it's actually, it is, well, a, probably a tourist or a historical attraction by now because most historical buildings are like that. I really like that it's just so different from the rest of Kayan al-Bashar. I mean, and it also fits in with the Roman pillar in front of the station. So this area is a little bit a mix between Turkish and well not Turkish but just that area and Morocco <laughs> and then you have a bridge from southern Spain so it's a bit from uh, well the opposite sides of the Mediterranean <laughs> but in a way it really fits together mostly because it's just like all very airy looking I mean this tower is going to look a little bit well darker because it's just it's a dark color I'm probably going to make it a little bit lighter with its surrounding because this tower is going to be on an island of its own because well the Leander tower is also actually on an island of its own but I just like the idea of like a lighthouse just being on its own island where let's say a hermit or something keeps the lighthouse light or keeps the fire going which brings me actually to the sad part is that we don't have fire in Planet Zoo. Maybe, or at least I really hope that we will get it in the Arctic DLC, but probably not because Arctic fire, probably not the best uh, combination. But also with that uh, being said, I am very well scared that with the Arctic DLC, all the clutter with like the wooden crates that I've built, maybe we will get wooden crates. Then I will be very sad because then I have like crates of, well actually not that piece heavy, they are like, I think one crate is let's say 40 pieces max. But uh, yeah, that was the biggest scare while building the clutter. Because, well this episode or the clutter couldn't wait until after the DLC came out. Yeah, I'm just really afraid that we will get like wooden pieces and then I'm like, I've already built it. And I usually don't go back to what I've, for I've built just because I found or have new pieces that might look better. But anyway, today, as I said, we're not going to build or fully complete the lighthouse. We are going to complete the tower and then in the next video we will do the actual base of the tower with like the surrounding structure that sits around it and the actual island that it sits upon. And then we will move to the front of the square because I mean the front of the square deserves some love. But anyway, 
this tower as something that I haven't seen in a lighthouse or just any tower actually in general and that is kind of a weird thing where the actual I think the upper part of the tower sits a little bit extended from the actual base or not extended but just the terrace or balcony that it has is a little bit extended and that's not that weird just the shape of the terrace because usually you get that the corners of the terrace or balcony on top are like extending from the corners of the actual tower itself this one doesn't this one has the corners of the balcony just front and center so at the flat area of the tower i would say and not in the corners there sits the corner of this balcony and also yeah this balcony was a little bit annoying because the camera of planet zoo and actually also in planet coaster doesn't like small or tight spaces it just freaks out whenever it's like inside something so first of all this is where the free look or free cam mode really comes into place because then you have a little bit more control of the camera so whenever i'm in like a tight area then i basically just press t or i as i do today flip the thing around so i'm just basically now looking at the underside of the tower or the balcony and just making it so that you know those well that the corners don't are jagged and such it's just a really weird feature but it was so like so front and center in the actual tower that i wanted to have it in this tower as well it was a little bit strange because this is just not something that i built in any tower whatsoever so far all of my towers are like either square or round and don't have this weird balcony <laughs> well they do have balconies and some of them might be pretty weird but uh, not weird wherein like the pointy bit of the balcony sticks out of the flat part of the base of the tower. Usually those sit at the corner. But this tower didn't and I don't know why. Like if any of you guys know why the pointy bit sticks out in what I would think is the wrong area for that. But you can see it later on where yeah it's I first wanted to move the entire tower because that's what it is in actuality like the pillars of the tower go alongside with the pointy bit of the terrace and the terrace is well balcony is uh, well as you see it now in the end though I did make it so that the tower is or the actual lighthouse area I would say sits in line with the base of the tower and it's just the balcony that's a little bit weird it's a, it's a weird tower I would say but it looks great and it doesn't actually go against the rest of Kayan Al Bashar. Fun to build, a little bit weird, but also in a way makes it so that I uh, also build something different than just all those domes and all those. Let's just uh, move on. But anyway, also building a little bit of like, uh, not a mosaic I would say, but just a little bit of decoration on the floor of the actual lighthouse i don't know if it has this in a real life but uh i wanted it so i got it but anyway that's pretty much actually it for today we are going to well build the island that sits upon in the next video although i already am going to show you where it sits in this video in the after video views just because the location that it sits in just perfectly aligns with the bridge so if you come down from the station towards the harbor, you can see the this tower or the Leander's tower in just the perfect area. So anyway, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, don't forget to hit the like or subscribe button because it does help out a lot. And well, subscribing is always nice. But anyway, I hope all of you have a good weekend and a good start of the week. And I will see you back on Wednesday for the next video. Bye bye.